Hi, Max. We're, well, it's like Kendall introduced this one. <laughs> Just like always, huh? Yeah. Uh, welcome back to the best five minutes of your life. We're just doing a quick, uh, you know, little spurt here to talk about Max's bucket. My bucket. Yeah. Um, Kendall's gonna flash a picture of it. El Flasho. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and basically, when we don't have requests, when we'll be getting into that in a second, but we're gonna pull movies at random, obscure movies, because I own a ton of movies. Literally hundreds of DVDs. It's shocking. A little bit sad, but uh, whatever. And uh, the next one we do after we finish the request is The Crater Lake Monster. Oh, gosh. Oh, and I'm so <laughs> excited for that. It's going to be beautiful. It is. Ooh, it's not quite at the level of Land That Time Forgot. Well, no, that's on a whole different scale, really. Oh, yeah. But the crap factor is <laughs> through the roof. <laughs> so, anyway, Kendall, why don't you talk about the request? <laughs> All right, well, the thing is, we don't know really what to do. We're just pulling movies out of a bucket that Max, up until this point, was using as a trash can, so... Well, let me tell you <laughs> where I found the bucket. Okay. I was on a walk one night, and uh, it was a windy night. It was kind of creepy. And I, there, I live near a golf course... And I'm walking besides the golf course, and then there's this bucket full of golf balls. And I, and I want that. Who would think golf balls would be at a golf course? Who would think that? Right? <laughs> but it was really late at night. So I, I, like, picked up the bucket and looked around. It's like, hey, anybody own this bucket? And I didn't hear anybody call back. So I absconded back home <laughs> with the bucket. You stole it like a VCR. I did. <laughs> And uh, since then, it still has the balls in the bottom, and I've it's just got a bunch of stuff in there that I don't use anymore. So, but now it's going to be the official movie bucket. The official movie bucket, yes. Yes. And as I was saying, um, we we take requests. If there's something you want to hear us prattle on about, um, be more than happy to apply to you. Just shoot us a comment. Um, you know, post a comment on our page. Uh, subscribe. We need your subscriptions. Um, and uh, or shoot us a message, really. Either or, we'll do the trick. We'll read them. Um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually have one request for the Lion King and all things Disney in general, which is a uh, you know, which is really awesome considering yeah. I'm a very large Disney fan and I know more about Disney that'll ever help me in any kind of situation. <laughs> And well, we'll I want to <laughs> make that two videos, one for Lion King and one for Disney. All right, all right, yeah. all right, all right, I got gotcha. you. Well, see, it's so vague, though. I mean, there's so much I can talk about. Is it just oh, Disney, Disneyland, Walt Disney? Nazis. Nazi, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he was a very active anti-communist, okay? And he hired many Jews to work for him. <laughs> well, it's true. The only reason the, the stupid Nazi rumor started was because one of his friends uh, was in a fascist thing and kept trying to get Walt to join, and Walt refused, but he stood by his friend. Like, you know, it's just that guilty by association kind of deal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what's next? Oh, Abraham Lincoln picture. Oh, well, in the last dwindling minute of our five minutes... Um, I'm going to share with you this picture of Abraham Lincoln, and to the left of Abraham Lincoln is uh, Mr. Pinkerton, Alan Pinkerton. <laughs> that's his real name. Yeah, that, that's his name. Um, uh, he was part of the Pinkerton, what did I tell you it was? I've already forgotten what it was. National something something. Agency? Right. Uh, <laughs> he was in the Pinkerton National Detective Agency. That's right. <laughs> I can't believe that's the real name of it. Like I said, that's like something a fourth grader would make up. Well, because back in back in those days, there was no Secret Service or CIA. So yeah. the government relied on private detective agencies to... Pinkerton. Keep the president <laughs> informed, <laughs> and uh, you know, keep him safe. So Pinkerton, 
apparently what, it didn't do too well. Yeah, ironically, their company slogan is "We never sleep." <laughs> We're After on. John Wilkes Booth, I think their slogan changed to "We'll never work again." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> their stock went down. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, this is a great picture of uh, Pinkerton, Lincoln, and uh, uh, General McLaren. And, and um, check out General McLaren. Looks like he's getting an itch. <laughs> he's scratching that bosom. Look at the satisfaction <laughs> on this man's face. He, he's grabbing that teat, and he's just going for it. He doesn't care. No. I look at Abe with his eyes closed, and he's kind of like, kind of half slouched. Kind of like a midget holding him up behind him. And look at Pinkerton, he's just god-awfully angry or hung over or both. What's he reaching for? <laughs> I mean, just the scorn on this man's face. Just pure anger. And w- what is Abe kind of like dozing <laughs> off? Like, he's looking... Way somewhere else. Just look at how tall he is. My God. <laughs> no wonder people thought he was an alien. I think you got a little crush on him. Oh, I've always been a large oh, yeah. Abraham Lincoln fan. I guess me too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who who doesn't love Abraham Lincoln, the Emancipator? You know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just the way you said it. A little creepy. <laughs> I think not. It's totally professional, man. It's plutonic. It's like, if I was Robin, he'd be my Batman. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. We don't... got to end this. <laughs> Some stuff happens in the Batcave, but it's totally platonic. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder... What don't you call it? What? Huh? What? Well, I was finish just... what you are going to say. I was just wondering what's under his hat. It's just... A rabbit? No. <laughs> Maybe a, uh... I don't know. What did they even have back then? Um, cholera? Lockjaw? <laughs> Under that? I don't know. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's callous. This is getting out of hand. No, you know what I think I, what he kept under his hat? What? The Declaration of Independence. <laughs> yeah. In case it, he the needed hat's big it, enough. Right? Yes, he needed quick it. Quick draw. Yeah, oh, exactly. You can't kill me, but let me read this off. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what you got going for you. Oh, man. Unfortunately, the hat did not save him Mm-mm. on that fateful night in Ford's Theater. Nope. Neither did Pinkerton. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> well. This, this was, was also a history lesson. Yeah, well, a brief kind of up and down history lesson, but yeah. Oh, okay. You know, along with being huge film nerds, we're also pretty big history buffs. So yeah. from time to time, we will dabble in that. Okay. Um, this is, again, past five minutes. Yeah, we're going on, like, eight minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't think any of our videos are ever going to be five minutes ever again. Yeah, I think we should change the name. I don't want to change the name. I'm too lazy Me for that. Me neither. Yeah. It just sounds nice. Yeah, just listen to the first five minutes of everything. Yeah, well, no. What if we have, like, a great climax at the end, and then they miss it, then... <clears throat> What would uh, ha- Yeah. Uh, Boom. Uh, science. <laughs> <laughs> Boom the science. <laughs> Boom the science should hit you. <laughs> okay. Sci- we need we'll do another one right after this. Yeah, we will. Um, okay. So this, is, this has been the best five minutes of your life with Max and Kendall. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for The Lion King. That's going to be coming up soon. Yeah. Peace. You any requests or anything you need, and we will read them and fulfill them to our best abilities. Aight? Aight. Peace out. Peace.